So with our basic anchor system, we managed to equalize both anchor slings by using two eights or two nines. If you've got two bolt anchors that are relatively close together like these two, you can't do that here because you can't clip them both into the two knots. So we're gonna use bunny ears knots here to do that. So we're gonna need two bunny ears knots, one either side of the middle. So I've got my overhand knot that I tied earlier to mark the middle. So I'm gonna need a bite rope and quite a long bite this time. So probably about an arm and a half's length. And then I'm gonna tie a figure of eight nice and close to the middle. Dress it. And then to turn it into the bunny ears knot, I'm gonna put that through and over the top. And I'm gonna sit it on the top of those three. I'm then gonna need exactly the same on the other side of the middle. So I'm gonna do the same again. I'm gonna measure out roughly the same amount of rope. I'm gonna tie the same knot. Just take a second to dress it. Flip that over, same as the last one. And I'm gonna put the single loop over. Sit it on the top again. So I'm gonna clip one ear into one anchor and one ear into the other. So when you're now hanging off one of those ropes, the load is shared evenly between the two. I then need to clip the second one in, so exactly the same. Make sure you screw in your gates up. And that will give you funny ears with a Y hang, which is equalizing the load on both. The other thing you might have to do is the same exercise, but with bolts that are at slightly different heights. So I'm not gonna bother retying the knots. I'm just gonna move them across. And when you clip them in, make sure you're looking at this side of the knot. So I'm gonna clip one ear into here, one ear into there, same as last time. But it's pretty obvious that's not doing what you want. You've got slack on this side, you've got all the weight here, whereas we're aiming to equalize the load between the two. So the loop that I put over the top, that's gonna feed between the two from one to the other. So if I pull a little bit of slack through on this side of it, and then feed it through to the other loop, so we aim to have equal tension on both. I'm then gonna do exactly the same with the second knot. So again, when you clip it in, screw up your gates and make sure you're looking at this side of the knot and that makes it easier to adjust. Go to the top loop, pull a little bit of slack through, feed it into the other loop. So you've got equal tension on both. I've already got my stopper knots in the end from my basic anchor system, but just make sure you've got them in as well.